Now we're going to look at skin softening. And the technique I'm going to demonstrate for you today is how to use selective blur to soften the skin. The image we're going to work on is going to be selective blur.jpg. So go ahead, open this image. And this is an image that was found on the stock photo site Morgue Photos and Jamila Epps has provided this image on that site for use. So this beautiful girl is located in a cityscape and we can see we've got some areas that we would like to work on. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is duplicate our background layer and then you're going to use your clone stamp tool and you're going to go in and you're going to soften the bags under her eyes and the wrinkles on her face. With my opacity turned down to about 16%, I'm gonna get a smaller brush, identify my source and come in and remove and soften these bags under her eyes. And I am constantly changing my source. Now I'm going to move over here. have to be a little more careful. I don't have quite as much room to work with. If I make a mistake, I command or control Z to undo if I don't like the way it looks. Not a problem. When I'm happy with the way under her eyes look, now I'm going to come over here and just soften these lines around her mouth. And then I have this area around her lips here that I want to adjust, so I'm going to use my patch tool, which we saw works well when working with lines. And I'm going to go in and I am going to adjust that so that I don't have that harsh line showing. And you will be turning this in, so you'll need to do each of these things as well. Again, I'm using my patch tool right now. When I'm through with my patch tool, then I'm going to go in and I'm going to use my spot healing brush. And I'll be making adjustments on the areas that I feel need to be addressed on her face here. She's a beautiful girl and doesn't need much work, but again, the whole point of this is to show what you can do with retouching. So, I'm not going to do her eyes. Our next lesson it will be over eyes, and so you can go in and do that. And this skin up here where it looks just a little dry, We'll be taking care of those issues here in a moment when we do our blur effect. And so I'm just doing an overview right now when I'm happy with the basics because again, I know I'm fixing to soften her skin and that's going to help me with some of the other areas, evening out the skin tone, etc. Might clean up just her eyebrow just a little bit right there. Here's my before, here's my after. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. So Command J to duplicate that retouching layer. And I'm going to add a Gaussian blur filter. So I'm going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And you can see if we turn this all the way up where we lose all detail in the image. Or as we bring it down, we start to see some of the details emerge. Now go ahead and set yours at a radius of 8 pixels. 
so 8.0. You can click on and off on preview to see the difference. Click OK. And obviously that is way too much blur. We wouldn't want to apply that much to this image. We've lost all of our detail. So the first thing we're going to do now is add a layer mask. So go ahead and add your layer mask and fill that with black. And now we can see no changes, okay? I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and now I'm going to get a nice soft edged brush and I'm going to paint in white at a lowered opacity the softness into her skin. So select brush. I'm going to put the opacity at about 20 percent. I'm going to increase my brush size. Now I'm going to switch to white and I'm just going to begin to color over my image. You can see where I'm softening her skin. And 20 percent is probably too low. Let's go ahead and bump that up to 35 percent. And at 35 percent now we can definitely see some major changes as we're adding to the skin softening here. So I'm just painting that Gaussian blur effect onto her skin. And you can see over here in the thumbnail as her face begins to show up in that layer mask. And so I want to be careful that I don't miss any areas, otherwise it's going to look like she's got patches of rough skin on her face. And she's a beautiful girl, so we don't want to do anything to make the image look worse. Again, our goal is always going to be to enhance the image. in. In some areas I may be getting a little too much of the effect. That's fine. All I have to do is paint in with black to remove any area that I don't want. Get under her lips here. Being careful around the mouth and also around the eyes. I don't want to get the eyebrows and I don't want to get the eyes, but I do want to get the rest of her face around there. So go ahead and go around the eyes. And I'm not being super careful around the eyebrows, etc. Again, I know I can go in with a black brush and paint that out. But around her hair here, I know her hair should be in focus. I don't want to soften her hair, so I'm not painting over the top of her hair. So I would give one pass over the eyebrows. And I'm going to come back in with a black brush and put the detail back on her eyebrows just like I would her hair. And areas that need a little more detail are going to see me coming in. And again, you can see her face over here in this thumbnail. We go in with a nice small brush, outline her mouth. Now I'm going to switch to black, and I'm at a reduced opacity. But I'm just going to outline her mouth here. I'm going to go in, add the details back around her nose, which got way too soft earlier, right? And again, the fact that I'm doing a little too much, it's okay. I can go back in and add it in. I'm going to go over her eyes smaller brush and I'm going to come in over her eyebrows. 
and I'm not taking as much care as what you will need to do because for time purposes but now I'm going to reduce the opacity of this white brush and come back in and soften around her nose just a little bit more again and at a reduced opacity maybe soften her lips just a little and around her hair here I'm going to zoom out and you're going to need to also soften her neck and now if you turn on and off the Gaussian blur layer you may feel that's a little strong and it is but what we can do is we can go in and we can reduce the opacity of that layer even more to bring it down to a more natural look and so when we bring that down to about 55%, we'll see that we have a slight softening, but it's not overly done. When you're finished, you'll need to combine your two layers, the one where you did the under eyes, around her mouth, and blemishes, wrinkles, etc., is layer one. And the second one is the Gaussian Blur. You're going to need to go to new group from layers and create an enhancements group with those two layers. You can turn those on and off and see the before and after. I've got this white box showing down here for some reason and you shouldn't have that in your image. When, when you're retouching you'll need to do her entire neck and face. Now when you're through, you're going to save this as 10G. So Command Shift S, 10G, your last name, underscore selective blur. Make sure it's a Photoshop file, make sure it's in your Chapter 10 folder, and click Save.